Welcome to our week one leadership and leading with joy and ease. And so before we get started, I want everybody just to take a deep breath. Actually, we're going to close our eyes and we're going to take three really nice deep breaths. I want you to forget about what we have to do for the rest of the day. Put aside your to-do list and just get present right now. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be identifying your personal values. And then I'll be giving you some um, practical ways that you can use those in your business to make it feel like your business, not my business, not Brianne Hovey's business, but your business. So today... Um, We spent some time when we actually did this call as a team going over some new and good things. And um, it was so awesome to hear what everybody's shares were, but it took up a lot of time. And so that's why I'm re-recording uh, this for the people that um, want to listen to it again and to maybe get a little bit more out of it. So the first thing I had everybody do was print off this lead with your personal values. So I wanted everyone to have um, this handout ready because I want you to spend a couple minutes reading through the words, and maybe not every word is on here, um, that you want as your, as your favorite values or the things that you value. And so you can add whatever you want, but I want you to come up with about eight of them and then really look at those eight and narrow it down to your top three. Um, the things that absolutely mean the most to you, the things that you would, um, that you hold the highest value of. You know, what are the things that would make you walk away from a friendship or a company? Um, and what would be the things that would make you stay? Uh, so I want you to think about those. And I, if you have not done this activity yet, I want you to push pause right now and go through and circle your top eight and then narrow it down to your three, okay? Um, because I am not doing this as a live group Zoom, I will have you guys do your shares in our Facebook group. And I want you to put down your, your top three values and um, some suggestions or ways that you're going to be using that in your everyday talk, maybe on your Facebook posts, maybe in your Instagram, um, maybe when you're in teaching a class. And so I wanted to just give you guys some quick ideas on ways that you can use your values. So when I really narrowed it down, um, the things that really mean the most to me that would make me either step into a company or walk away from a company um, would be a family oriented uh, it has to deal with health. Health is so, so important to me and speaking uh, to health about uh, to others is important. So health has to be a part of the company or a part of what I value. Excuse me. And it has to be a part of everything that I do. And, um, and then honesty and integrity are, are my others. So those are the ones, and I, I do have a couple others that are really important, like community was really important to me, um, you know, freedom, time and financial freedom is really important to me as well. Um, and some of these things may change, but if I were really to focus on the top three, it would be health, family, and um, honesty. 
So um, ways that you can share your values, because what you really want to do is you want to attract people that are similar to what you what you value, because it'll be so much easier to work with someone that values the same things. Um, you'll be on the same page. You're of course not going to agree with everything, but you, for the most part, you will you will both um, be in agreement most of the time. So, if you share during a class that um, you know you're doing this for your family and the reason you chose doTERRA specifically as your vehicle to to find that um, time freedom to spend with your family that because it was created by seven individuals who are all family people and the fact that they all have families um, and they valued their family so much that they were willing to put their entire retirement, second mortgage, their homes, all for doTERRA because they believed in it so much. To me, that um, that's really special. And uh, it shows that they really care about their family and the fact, too, that they were using the oils before they ever put them out for public consumption. And who was using them? Their families. So they value their family. And in turn, it's nice to find a company that does that. Um, my other top value, of course, is health. And I talk about that all the time in my classes, how um, I feel strongly about eating very clean, getting back to the basics, um, using one ingredient foods to heal our body. And so when, in, when essential oils were introduced to me, it totally made sense and aligned with my values because these are one ingredient um, products that are created straight from nature. So it was about as perfect of alignment in, in values um, with what I have. So it was, and when people hear me say that, they're like, yeah, yeah, I can totally see that. And if they feel like they want, if they're someone who cares about health and cares about natural eating and food, that will align with them too. And that's really who I'm trying to attract. I'm trying to attract women who are already in their health journey. I don't care where they're at in their health journey, but they're already on their health journey. And so that way they've been looking at natural things and realizing that they got to get back to the basics. You know, you got to get away from all these processed foods. And then when it comes to honesty and integrity, um, especially in a business like this where there are no regulations, it's really important for me to believe that the company that I'm with is being honest and sharing all the information with me. Um, that's a game changer. I would walk away from a company that if I found out that they were lying to us and there are so many companies out there that are lying to their, to their potential customers about what's in their bottle of oil. And I, with what doTERRA offers, they're such an open book. They want you to know what they know. And I love that about them. I absolutely love that. Um, it just goes to show that they're not hiding anything and everything that they find is for our public consumption. So to me, that's really important. And those would be ways that I would be able to share in a class. I wouldn't share all those things, but if I, you know, if I felt like it was, I was sitting there in front of a bunch of moms, of course I might share something about family. Um, if I'm sitting there in front of uh, some business women, I might talk about honesty and integrity in a, in a business or in a company. So you just never know how you're going to be bringing it up. Um, but if you always lead with your values, you'll never get steered wrong. If you're leading with what's most important to you, you will never get steered wrong. And it'll help you even think about how you want to post on Facebook because if you value family, um, we were just talking about this earlier in our call, if you value family, 
you don't want to be posting about how peppermint helps with headaches and stomach aches. But if you have a story about how peppermint um, changed your daughter's um, miserable rides in the car because she was so car sick and when you were able to give her some peppermint to sniff and rub on her tummy she no longer gets car sick and it's made your car rides go from unbearable to pleasant um, you're going to share that story and because people want to hear that they don't want to just see a picture of a of a peppermint bottle and say hey it's good for indigestion da, 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 da. they want to hear about why it works for you and hear about you um, and we talked about that too a little bit in that people may have been to other um, uh, presentations maybe they've been to other classes maybe they've even been excuse me given oils but they've never signed up for whatever reason until that night when they've heard you talk and then they sign up and you, I always ask, well, what made you sign up? And they're like, you, you did. You, I saw, I heard things that I had never heard before. Um, and it was different. And I wanted to be a part of your team and have you educate me, not someone else. So I thought that that was really neat. Um, when I hear that kind of stuff and when it, I hear it, it's when I'm leading with my values and the things that are most important to me. So, um, those are just some ways. Um, and again, this is going to give you creative ideas on how to share your company's products. So, um, if, if family is really important to you, maybe you talk about, um, okay, I want to share with you the top 10 oils that my family uses on a daily basis. Instead of saying the top 10 oils that make over your medicine cabinet. It's just a little simple way of saying something different, but if you're talking to a room full of moms, they're gonna wanna know why you use those oils for your family, and then they're gonna say, Oh yeah, well, I've got kids, then that makes sense. I need to have that kit. Um, it's funny, I, I wrote the word integrity, um, and it's not on the list of values, but this is pretty interesting too. Um, write down two to three actions that you want to take to make sure your values are your number one priority. Because, um, so for example, you want to make sure that you are saying one of your words, one of your things you value in every single class and maybe say it multiple times. And then maybe one of the other actions is every time you do a business overview, you make sure you bring up another one of those um, values. Because like last night, I was doing a business overview and I spoke a lot about honesty and integrity. Most business owners that want to get into a business like this do want to lead with honesty and integrity. So it made sense to her. She was like nodding her head. She goes, yeah, I, I believe in that all the way. And so... I could tell she was aligning with what I was saying. Um, and then maybe you would put on there, your last action would be that on all your Facebook posts, it has, you want to be creative in how you want to post on Facebook and making sure that it aligns with either health, family, or honesty. And for me. And so then you would choose your top three priorities. So if let's say it was um, love, uh, nature and um, adventure, you could do something fun and talk about on my family's last adventure, we walked through the woods and my little one got a blister on the back of her heel. And I'm so thankful I had my little keychain with me because I was able to put lavender on her blister and her. Um, 
and her blister felt so much better, we were able to finish our nature walk and we were able to see, you know, two tortoises, a bird and something, and an alligator. Did it sound like I was trying to sell you doTERRA? No, but I was trying to show you how adventure or maybe family is really important to me and how I can incorporate doTERRA into my everyday life. And so those are the kinds of things I want you to start thinking about when it comes to um, values. And so we're gonna be posting this video on our Facebook site I'm gonna have you share your values. And then maybe this week, if you do post something on Facebook, you can tag us. And that way we can all see it and comment and help promote your values, which will then just help promote your tribe and your team. So, um, all right, girls, this has been a wonderful um, first call on leading with our values. And over the course of this summer, we are really going to be focusing on just that, leading with authenticity, leading with joy, um, and just really knowing that this is the first step, figuring out what we value, and then starting incorporating it into our classes and our conversations and our Facebook and social media. So um, the other thing that I wanted you to fill out for us is the expectations sheet that I posted and emailed everyone. So when you get that filled out, um, if you're on Sherry's team, send it to me and Sherry. If you are on Diane's team, you're going to send it to um, me and Diane. If you are on uh, um, Anne's team, you're going to send it to me and Anne. And if you're on Vivian's team, you're going to send it to me and Viv. So um, that way, we're all on the same page. We can all see what our expectations are. Um, once we know what your values are, we can help you figure out, you know, how to grow your business according to what you believe and what your values are. So um, this, this summer is really just going to be a time of, of getting to know each other on a deeper level and um, building our business according to those, um, those values and the things that mean the most to us. And so that way we're building with truly with ease and joy versus this feeling of, ugh, it's hard or this. I want you to get out of that and we're really going to be focusing on positive, beautiful, authentic um, business building. So thank you for joining us and I will be seeing you guys next Friday. And I'll be posting before that the handouts that you're gonna need for next Friday too. Okay. Have a great week, guys.